What is the greatest challenge with life? What's the greatest challenge with life? Because if we can address that, we can also address the biggest opportunity or the one or two things that we have to just constantly remember. The idea that there is no time out button in life actually makes us aware of what our expectation is. There's only a problem that there's no time out button when you have, or we have, one has, the expectation that it's supposed to have a time out button, that life is supposed to show up in a particular way. And so the thing that is challenging or the thing that pisses us off or the thing that makes us feel like something's wrong, which is the basic nature of the surviving self, is that we have decided that life is supposed to show up in a particular way. And here's my question. Where is that written? Where is that written? When we unpeel it and we take our, mm, this word might sound negative, but it's not. When we take our arrogance out of it, because our arrogance puts us at the center of things. Our arrogance says that how we see it and what we need is at the center of life. And so all of a sudden, the universe is meant to form and operate around us. Forget the earth, forget the solar system. <laughs> all of a sudden, we need life to operate around us around our comfort zone, around our needs. And to just be aware of that is to make us chuckle to some degree. But when you think about the challenge, here's another assumption. We are assuming when we are kicking our feet and having these feelings that something is wrong, we are assuming that we are experiencing the moment in its best possible version. And the best possible version would be a version where this moment is meant to grow us. This moment is specifically designed with us in mind and our growth and our healing and our expansion in mind. But what we do instead is what the surviving self does. And if we are only working out of the range of consciousness of the surviving self, we will absolutely always be in worry, doubt, and fear. Because that's its job. And that's its consciousness. The surviving self is not aware of the thriving and infinite aspects of self. It just isn't. When you are running for your life, are you thinking about happiness? No! When you're running from your life, you can't see anything but danger. Your, your consciousness is not available. Physiologically and neurologically, Science tells us that all unnecessary systems of the body are automatically shut down when we are in fight, flight, or freeze. Because those systems use energy that is not needed in this moment. The only energy that is needed in this moment is the energy that allows us to run or fight or strategically hide. for safety. If you are gaining value from this channel, then I ask that you subscribe. And even more important, if you are gaining value, share this channel with someone else and let's be a part of changing the world in terms of how we deal with, see ourselves and treat ourselves. Thank you for being part of the journey.